Well, welcome to our oil painting tutorial today. We'll be creating a beautiful piece featuring an orange mouse and a teapot, which you can actually already see drawn out here. This is the reference photo for Evolve that I am working on today. So I drew this out. And with a large gray pot in the back, some white flowers in the front of the teapot and the flowers are on the canvas part of it, which is towards the bottom, creating a really beautiful kind of a visual. And we're gonna um, make sure that it had got all of the shadows and everything in there, because that's the important aspect of doing any great painting. I've mixed up the colors because I'll only be working on the teapot today. So I've already mixed everything up and along with some other grayscale colors. So I'll be starting with the shadows first. So I'm going to be using extreme shadow here. Remembering definitely blending and making sure gradient is a big deal and after doing a lot of training these last four years and really learning that aspect of it has made a huge shift in my actual artwork These paintings um, have been creating much more of a realistic look and creating the details and stuff on the handles and especially around the mouse ears and the mouth of the teapot here. Sometimes it's nice to kind of put in the darker shadows first. How's everybody's day going today? Mine began at six in the morning for some reason. Kind of waking up with the sunshine. Now for some people that have been painting for a long time, this is always a fun tutorial to kind of remind us on how to really get that look 
making sure that we're creating those gradients and the shadow work properly. Because man, ever since I've learned that, my paintings go much faster. And I got um, this artwork from, this is the last part of the class I've been taking with Evolve. So kind of glad to get all of these. I'm debating on if I'm going to take the next class or not. Got to start being able to make money at this. And it's been a long, little longer process than I would have preferred. classes worth every penny that I spent and then they have a another master class on top of this to really hone your skills getting you to paint pretty much exactly what you see in the picture And I'm painting this as a much lighter gray. I think I'm gonna go out and do some motorcycle riding. It gets windy again. My plant's too much. And I'm knocking you over. And... It's too windy up here. I'm about an hour and a half away from the Grand Canyon, so I'm at the top of the mountain here in Arizona. Tell me where you guys are from. So now that I'm working with this, um, doing a step-by-step -step tutorial, finishing up this last part, I have eight more paintings to go. 
actually seven in this particular part. How'd you guys like the um, fun uh, mandalas that I did the other day with the mistake I had done? I was just trying to give myself some color to work with. Kind of give myself a little change of pace. And I messed up on the mandala and I create this really cool design on accident. I thought that was kind of fun. Sometimes when we're working, you know, with stuff, you know, I ended up making a happy mistake. And I just put it up on the website for sale. Right now I'm doing the, as I said, the shadows. Just to get that taken care of. It takes up a lot of the painting, so you can just get in there and do the extreme shadow here. Tell me guys what, what you would like. You know, would you like more of the mandala type of work with the epoxy? Would you prefer doing these these more traditional paintings with the oil? You know, let me know what you guys would like to kind of cover. I've been wanting to do some sort of art therapy where I've got the class kind of where you can kind of do a meetup once a week. And so I'll be putting something up probably on Instagram and on here. I'm thinking it'd be about $67 for everybody to sign up for a four week deal where you just meet once a week and then we'll determine if it'll be like a Thursday afternoon when everybody's home. And I won't move it all over the map because right now I'm dealing with a situation where Everybody's the time. Time I talk, look at the time. It's been shifted every week. It's been different. So one week it's Eastern Standard Time at 9 a.m., which is six o'clock in the morning here. So I end up missing out on that. So I'm going to keep it at a certain place so that everybody can attend and be in a safe place because that's one of the things that I love about some of the classes that I've been taking is this really safe forum and being a coach I've been a coach for spiritual crossing for people for a very long time and when you kind of want to be able to have people talk about what they need to type of thing but I don't know, still trying to form, figure out what I want to do with this, but I need to get something where you guys can actually have some fun with it, do some painting, be in a safe place where you can actually do that. I do meditations and stuff before I do a lot of my paintings, and that could be a prayer, just something that kind of gets you into the flow of of the divine whoever that is for you i'll be changing the name too um to spirit art Now 
I've got it under something else, but I've already got the change getting ready to make. You can only make a change. But anyway. So I'm just filling this in. Not taking too, too long, but paying attention to the areas that the detail are so that I'm not crossing over the line. almost Friday. It's Thursday. I think it'd be kind of um, awesome to be able to have a safe meetup, you know. Maybe I'll just do coaching alone without any painting. Yeah. cats. Inevitably I get cat hair and stuff. Drive me crazy. I used to let them into the studio until I found a few paw prints. <laughs> Across paintings. <laughs> Can't be mad at them. They just want to be close. You know. And all of my hair Animals have really long hair. The puppy, Miss Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, she's a Scotty. So she's got this really wild terrier hair. And the two cats are Maine Coon. Absolutely stunners. But long hair. Not good opinions. What type of favorite work do you do? I used to do a lot of watercolor and then I got into acrylic for a really long time when I was a kid because it was cheaper to buy the paint back then. Of course now really good acrylic is, can be just as expensive now as oil. But man, once I found out how to, the how to work oil and stuff, I haven't really gone back. I prefer, I prefer the oil over but I do like the freedom of some of the sparkles and stuff of alcohol ink and those types of things. And that's what I've been really focusing in on now. It's like, okay, well, I love doing these particular paintings um, because they really get you, you know, paying attention. To the detail that because I had taken a class from somebody else and she had really good um, fast like don't blend anything techniques and really groundbreaking because it freed me up you know not have to be so um, particular about you know I want to make that one flower petal a certain way and how to do it. And but this class has really taught me to slow down and breathe. And pay attention to the detail. Because a lot of times you're just on my, a lot of my other paintings and stuff, I was going back and I'm like, wow, that's just, they looked, they were incomplete.
Close up. This pot has a really beautiful piece that comes down here, the way the light is hitting it. The only thing that I was doing, be able to, was really good at before, was doing animal spirit. You know, working with painting giraffes and flamingos and stuff like that. But this has opened my world up to being able to paint pretty much whatever I see. So this weekend, I'm gonna. Get a couple of vases filled up with some fresh flowers. Tell me what type of flowers you like. I love lilies. I have a ton of lilies in my backyard and I have hundreds of pictures of lilies from all of the blooms that I've had this last year. I have one that's called a pineapple. It's not a lily, but it's, it looks like pineapple kind of coming up. Really cool plants. And then I've got a high altitude hibiscus that I got from one of the old Holland companies that does high altitude plants. And they've got a hibiscus. And I have a red one that blooms back and last year we got three blooms, and the year before we only got the one before the season changed. I love roses. We've got a lot of roses back there. I have a sterling that finally is coming back. Sterling roses are actually purple roses, true purple, um, dyed white, which is what a lot of places do now. They dye them white. Matter of fact, some people are paying for sterling prices on a white rose. Got to be careful. This is sterling color. It's very different. gotta tell you when I started doing the Facebook stuff there's so much more to this that everybody just thinks that you throw up these really cool videos and stuff there's so much more to how to do the thumbnails and how to get the writing up there and how to talk to the camera remembering to blend colors and talk and don't forget details and <laughs> there's so much more to to this than people really understand that's why when you get out here and you kind of start doing these things and getting into the algorithm and everything and how long it takes and how many videos you do and then one or two people love them and other people pops some people don't view them at all you get kind of get discouraged. I have. I've been getting pretty discouraged on, you know, trying to figure out how to 
you know, get this up and going. And it's been, you know, interesting, but discouraging at the same time. Anyway, on a positive note, it's happening. Things are moving forward. to a huge art show last year, juried, you know, and the whole bit. And I found out that everybody was new at this art show, not just a few selected people on the side. And you get to the show and you start talking to the other artists and stuff. And it's like, we got to change the landscape of this so that artists can get out here and start doing some really cool stuff without it being that you know because there were a lot of 200 artists there and five of us actually sold paintings and i was the only one that only sold a very large 30 by 30 of one of my goddesses and that was it you know so and i know a few of the artists that had gone were pretty discouraged and other people will continue moving forward on some stuff like I am but boy that was kind of a blow and watching them struggle you know and painting tears and frustration of you know what I mean but actually one of them is not even going to continue staying and painting at all she's gonna completely go into pottery and um, she does beautiful pottery work I'm excited to see what she's going to be doing in the next few years. Shout out to my girl, Bree out in Texas. And then I had a big show here at the house. And, you know, right after COVID, everybody was out and doing stuff and everything. But now everybody's back to, to doing the normal. So I only had people show up on Saturday, and, which was good. My elephant paintings sell quite a bit. But some really cool students here at the high school that want to get into artwork and stuff. And so many people, you know, and are encouraging them, which is so good. Do, do what they love. What type of artwork do you guys like to do? I think I had asked that earlier. 
put a comment in there because right now I'll be able to start doing the lives again. Um, I had kind of pulled away from doing them a little bit because nobody was watching, so kind of discouraging. But it just kind of gives you an idea of how to do certain patterns and how to do the gradients, how to do them, what makes it give it a 3D look. Make sure that you're putting your shadows and stuff in, letting the eye know where the light is coming from. Because even though I was kind of doing that my own on the other class, I wasn't able to figure that out. And doing this one just really stepped my stepped it up quite a bit. mixed in a little bit of Naples yellow and um, I think this is umber along with some English red touch of blue to create the color because the pig on the bottom is a really dark brown and it starts turning into kind of a burnt orange as you work your way up. If you guys want to go check out all the other types of paintings that I've done, it's Lisa Marie Pro Artist. And um, I've got a Patreon channel, but I haven't been able to put anything up yet because I'm trying to figure out, you know, something that will be fun and engaging over there. Maybe we could meet on Patreon on the class or something. But I've found out there is a couple of places that you can do some really cool classes and stuff.
There's a reflection right here. You guys going to be doing anything for spring break? It seems to be really early this year. Can't believe it's going to be April coming up. Shadow here. Kind of gives you an idea too on how long it can take a painting. You know, when you're really slowing down and paying attention to it. <laughs>
been kind of getting into a little bit of fancy work. I'm working on Calypso right now. Well, I'm going to finish up. I think I'm at 45 minutes. So I'm going to add some final touches to the pickup, make the painting and make it pop a little bit more. I'm going to continue. I'll probably even do a tutorial um, tomorrow since it'll be Saturday, I think, and Sunday. And you know, when you're doing stuff, don't forget to admire your own work because sometimes we have a tendency to be really hard on ourselves when we're in a process of doing something and I do thank you so much and if you really can do me a favor if you really like this reel can you just smash that button for me that don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and maybe send it off to a couple of friends that are into art you know not to just anybody Somebody that really wants to learn how to do something that maybe will glean some information off of this tutorial. And again, peace to you. And have a fabulous rest of your day. Enjoy the video. This is a definitely a new, unique thing with the mouse teapot oil tutorial. And I give you thanks and blessings for the rest of your day and weekend. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.